is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Well, we are continuing our coverage of a Springfield home explosion. It has now claimed the lives of two people. The aftermath of what began as a smoke-filled night sky is beginning to clarify this evening. Now, debris was thrown from the home as late as into the morning hours as fires were still burning there. Now, drone footage of the home shows it is in ruins, burned to the foundation, and the home was not the only thing lost. As we mentioned, two people have died as a result of the blaze. We have a team on the ground at the site of the deadly explosion. And our Maddie Himes is live, bringing you everything we know right now about this incident. She is live in the town of Springfield. Maddie? Eric, Kyle, we are getting first look at video of that explosion that, like you said, killed two people in this Middleton home. Crews are just now leaving the scene, so for the first time for the rest of the houses in this neighborhood, things are quieting down. The fire chief tells me that the two bodies found match what we know about the two people that lived in this house. We have ring doorbell footage from a neighbor that shows the moment it happened around 11 last night. Take a look. The fire from the explosion was contained just to the home in which it happened. We spoke with the neighbor closest to that home who provided the footage. In an unfortunate and good way, we've had a lot of rain lately, but otherwise, yes, um, being that I own all the woods behind their property, once I saw the fireball and what was burning down here, I was definitely concerned about my property along with their property and the neighbor's properties. That's Aaron Shelton. He says the two people who had been living in the house had been there for at least 45 years and he knew them to be good people. He does not believe they have any children or any family living nearby. The Dane County Sheriff's Office is not releasing the identities of the victims and they say they have yet to discover the cause of the explosion. We'll hear more from the sheriff, from neighbors and provide continuous updates from the scene on News 3 Now at 5 and 6. For now, reporting live in Middleton, I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. All right, Maddie, thank you. And as that investigation into the explosion continues, we are bringing you the very latest information with updates on our free Channel 3000 mobile app. Just search WISC TV in your app store. In Walworth County, three men are in custody following an alleged attempted burglary. According to the Walworth County Sheriff's Office, police responded to a call about a possible burglary at the Aldridge Electric property in Darien this morning. An employee arrived to work and saw two men in a truck on the property. When police found the truck, the suspects drove away at high speeds. Police deployed spike strips, which hit the truck and caused it to stop. Three suspects were taken into custody after the chase. All were from Illinois. After sporadic showers yesterday, clear skies today. Pretty nice out there. Let's get a look at your first one forecast. Meteorologist Blaze Keller joining us from the patio. Blaze. And it is beautiful out here. The birds are singing. It's not humid outside. We've got a few passing clouds, and that's really going to be the story as we head further into your Wednesday evening. So not a whole lot going on as we look at the radar. Clouds showing, again, kind of popcorn clouds, if you will, uh, dotted across southern Wisconsin. Wisconsin clearing off towards, say, uh, the northeast. And that's going to continue to be the theme as well as we head into this evening, kind of passing clouds and then eventual clearing as we head further into the overnight for your Thursday. 60s and 70s across Dane County and really across all of southern Wisconsin. A little bit cooler towards Sheboygan and Milwaukee in those upper 50s to low 60s. This is why it feels so nice out. Get out if you can. Those dew points for this time of year, dry. Upper 40s, even some mid 40s out there to low 50s. It is very nice feeling out there on this Wednesday evening. There's a look at your planner taking you all the way to about 10 o'clock tonight. We'll drop from the upper 60s to about the upper 50s between now and 10 o'clock, keeping with those clear to mostly clear conditions. No alert days in the forecast, but we are tracking some rain returning as we head into your weekend. We'll time out that exactly when those raindrops return later on in this half hour. Blaze, thank you. Uh, tomorrow, the Dane County Board's Health and Human Needs Committee will hear a proposal to create an overdose drop-in center. It was recommended by a subcommittee to look into the matter last month. Funding would come from the National Opioid Settlement reached in 2022. District 2 Supervisor of Dane County, Heidi Wigeleitner, tells us a center for harm prevention from drug use is critically needed. It's a place where people can go to get these critical services, as well as new um, services like drug checking. Um, to see if your um, if your drugs are are deadly, you know, if 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 you're taking what you think you're taking, I mean, that can save 
that will save lives. The center, if created, would serve moms, babies, older black men, queer individuals, as well as others most impacted by opioids. City of Madison continuing its plans to develop the west and northeast areas of the city. The latter includes major landmarks like the airport, Madison College's Truex campus at Easttown Mall, which is where the largest changes will take place. Now, the city is sharing the latest information after rounds of input from the community. With the uh, interstate study, you know, I think some of the big ideas that we see um, the removal of the free, free flow ramps with the uh, I-39-9094 and uh, East Washington interchange we could see could actually have a really big improvement. Now, if you weren't able to attend the virtual meeting at noon, there is another in-person opportunity. That is tonight from 5 to 8 at Rindell Park on Sycamore Avenue. Staff will go over recommendations made in the Northeast Area Plan Draft and then talk about recommendations made at a recent meeting. You can find more information on the City of Madison's website. As the search for a cure to breast cancer continues, a local woman dedicating her life to raise awareness to the disease must now once again battle it. Nikki Panico uh, is the executive director of Susan G. Coleman in Wisconsin. She was moved to support the cause after she lost her mother and aunt to breast cancer. Panico herself later fought and beat the disease, but after 14 years in remission, she learned her breast cancer returned. Do not let your guard down on your own health. As I said 14 years ago, I had a double mastectomy, chemotherapy, and I thought breast cancer was behind me, but all the time I pay attention to how my body looks, how it feels, and what changes. And that is how I was able to identify these physical signs of breast cancer. So always be aware and advocate for your health. Panico says she underwent surgeries in December and January and will soon be starting chemotherapy and radiation. And we're less than two weeks away from the annual Susan G. Komen More Than Pink Walk for Breast Cancer. The ceremony starts at 9 a.m. It's Saturday, June 8th at Alliant Energy Center. If you'd like to walk alongside the News 3 Now team or register your own team, you can find all the information you need to register online at channel3000.com slash Komen. Coming up at 4.45, Lisa Briggs from The Roost Company will be here to answer all your plant questions. We know a lot of you are out in the yard right now as the weather's warming up with these ever-changing weather conditions. It can also make it a little difficult to take care of those plants. So email your questions to tips at channel3000.com to write to Lisa. We'll get your answers. Coming up next at 4, updates on the historic trial of former President Trump. And we'll give you updates from the New York courthouse when Live at 4 returns. Stay with us. Save on new champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new champion windows because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at getchampionwindows.com. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Cash in on the basketball action with prize picks. Pick more or less on two or more players for a shot to win up to 100 times your cash. Playoff time is your time. Squad up with the millions of prize picks members across the country who are turning up for every big moment. Use code TV during the playoffs for a first deposit match up to $100. Watch the game change, yeah. Prize picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. We've been everywhere. We've coded patios, pool decks, basements, hospitals, warehouses, walkways, man caves, churches, schools, airports, hotels, and garages. If it's concrete, TSR will code it. It's Empire Today's biggest sale, the 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. That's right, half off your entire project. You can save thousands. Empire's 50-50-50 sale won't last long. Don't miss 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800 588 Empire. Today. 
Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotion results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to sonobello.com. Welcome back. The jury in former President Trump's historic criminal trial in New York has gone home for the night after beginning deliberations this morning. Michael George reports from outside the courthouse where Trump could become the first former president ever convicted of a crime. Former President Donald Trump struck a pessimistic tone after jury deliberations in his criminal case got underway. Mother Teresa could not beat those charges, but we'll see. We'll see how we do. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee is facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors contend he tried to conceal a repayment to his former fixer Michael Cohen for $130,000 in hush money paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 presidential election. That is the question at the heart of this. Were the business records falsified in order to try and unlawfully influence the election? Trump has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. These charges are rigged. The whole thing is rigged. Judge Juan Mershon began the day by issuing instructions to the jurors, saying the burden of proof never shifts from the people to the defendant. If the people fail to satisfy their burden of proof, you must find the defendant not guilty. And if the people satisfy their burden of proof, you must find the defendant guilty. The former president's fate comes down to a jury of seven men and five women. They have the testimony of 22 witnesses over several weeks to consider. I think we're looking at hours versus days. The faster it is, the better it is for the prosecution. This is one of four criminal cases Trump is facing, but most likely the only one that will wrap up before the presidential election in the fall. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Now, even if Donald Trump is convicted, it does not necessarily mean he will serve any prison time. The judge has other sentencing options, including probation. Well, the U.S. says it is suspending use of a maritime corridor that it's been using to get aid to civilians in southern Gaza. The Pentagon says its $320 million floating pier sustained damage in rough seas yesterday and also over the weekend. Officials say the repairs could take more than a week, and that's on top of the time needed to re-anchor the structure on the coast. For now, U.S. aid says thousands and thousands of tons of supplies are waiting on the nearby island of Cyprus. Officials say airdrops continue where possible, but land crossings are often closed or bottlenecked. Also in Palestine, the United States' involvement in the war is coming to light after it was revealed that U.S. made munitions were used in the deadly Israeli strike on a displa displacement camp in Rafah. At least 45 people were killed and more than 200 others injured after a fire broke out following the Israeli military's strike on the outskirts of Gaza's southernmost city. This, as the U.S. Security a Secretary of State is denouncing these strikes. The incident uh, a couple of days ago was horrific. I don't think anyone who has seen the images cannot be deeply affected by them. Um, just on a, on a basic human level. The identification of the munitions is also consistent with releases from Israeli military officials. A new report by Amnesty International finds 2023 saw the highest number of executions across the world in nearly a decade. The International Human Rights Group says there were more than 1,100 executions in 2023. That is a 30% spike from the year before. That rise driven by a nearly 50% increase in executions in Iran. That was the most, followed by Saudi Arabia, Somalia, and the United States. Despite the increase in executions, the number of nations performing executions fell from 20 to 16. That's the smallest number Amnesty has recorded, and the number of U.S. states that carried them fell from 6 to 5. Even so, there was a 33% increase in executions in the U.S., the highest number since 2015.
Let's get another check of your first warm forecast. Meteorologist Blaze Keller is back. Blaze, how are things looking outside right now? You know, it's picture perfect out there, and tomorrow's going to be even better, less cloud cover. We're taking a look at the time lapse over the capital city today. You can see those clouds kind of developing as we went further into the morning hours. A high pressure system has set up over really the Midwest, and that's keeping not only our weather conditions quiet, but our, our dew points comfortable, our winds light, making for a really nice kind of end towards the uh, end of May, excuse me. Not a whole lot going on on the satellite and radar. If we take a look at that cloud cover again, you can kind of see those clouds beginning to clear off towards Fond du Lac, Manitowoc, as well as Juneau. A little less cloud cover off towards Boscoville, Platteville as well. Kind of popcorn clouds here and there. And they're going to continue to dance across southern Wisconsin as we head further into your evening. But it is just so nice out there. Upper 60s to low 70s, that northeast wind light. Our dew points, that's really what I want to point out here. Upper 40s, even some some of us slipping into the mid 40s for end of May into the start of June. You would expect those to be maybe into the 50s and 60s, really marking that humidity. But because of this high pressure system moved in out of Canada, it brought down that drier, more comfortable air. And that's what we're feeling today. A little less uh, cooler or a little cooler compared to yesterday, say off towards Kenosha and uh, and Waukesha. But everybody else seems to be a little bit warmer than the same time yesterday. And you can probably bet why more sunshine, even with that high pressure system moving on in and those northerly winds. Our temperatures were able to rebound back into those mid to upper 60s to low 70s along the Wisconsin River, taking it into the uh, Dane County area, Verona, Middleton, Cross Plains, Mount Horeb. We're right around 70, 71 degrees, a little bit cooler in Sun Prairie, Madison, Deerfield, all coming in at about 69. Same with those of us in Belleville. The relative humidity, really how humid it is outside dry. So get out and enjoy the nice conditions. Not only this evening, maybe you even want to throw open the windows and let in some fresh air, but get out and enjoy it tomorrow as well. This high pressure system is going to be moving on out as we head closer into your weekend and acting like a big shield, essentially keeping a lot of that cloud cover and rain that you're seeing off towards Iowa and Minnesota just off to our west. But as the center of that high pressure system heads off towards the east, you're seeing that cloud cover move back in the rain as well. We don't need any more rain. Farmers across southern Wisconsin really want to continue to get out into the fields. This doesn't look like a total washout and it does look to hold off until we go further into your Friday night and then continue into Saturday. And it does look like we're kind of trending maybe on the edge of some drier conditions as we head into the start of June. But really the rain uh, chance is kind of picking up here as we go Friday night into Saturday and then again Sunday night into your following Monday. All right, tonight we're headed into the 40s, believe it or not. Again, a very nice, comfortable night out there. Give the AC a break, open up the windows. We're back into the 70s, plenty of sunshine here across southern Wisconsin. That seven day forecast, not only do we not have any alert days in the seven day forecast, but we also don't have any alert days in that 10 day. Let's take it full screen so folks at home can really see this alert free forecast here across southern Wisconsin. After a very busy week, we will take this. As I mentioned, uh, Eric and Kyle and folks at home, our chance for rain really starts to pick up there later Friday night into early Saturday. All right, Blaze, thank you so much. One number you need to know on this May 29th is 529. Besides being today's date, 529s are state-run college savings plans. The money grows with no tax on earnings, and when you pull it out for educational use, there's no tax due. Besides college, the savings can also be used for private high school and elementary education in certain states. Cool thing is that you can own it as the parent, but grandparents can put money in, mm. and we can have money that is moved between siblings. If you are fortunate enough to have leftover money in that 529, you can move a max of $35,000 in installments into a Roth IRA for your child as long as their 529 account has been open for at least 15 years. Walgreens slashing prices to lure back inflation-weary shoppers turned off by the high prices. Today, the pharmacy chain announced it's cutting prices on over 1,500 items online and also in stores. The price cuts apply to both name brands and also the store brands. Walgreens joining other big retailers like Walmart, Target, and Amazon that have also lowered prices. It comes after retailers hiked up prices as inflation spiked in recent years. They hope lowering prices will encourage consumers to spend more freely on both essential items like food, but also more discretionary items like clothes and home decor. 
We are getting your plant questions. We will take, of course, more. Coming up at 445, Lisa Briggs from Bruce Company will be here to answer all of them. Yeah, we're just getting started in landscaping season, making your yards and patios look great. Email your questions to tips at channel3000.com to get your answers. And just ahead on Live at 4, a group is suing American Airlines over possible discrimination. Well, the incident that led to the lawsuit in the aftermath of the flight when Live at 4 returns. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. <laughs> After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. Everyone can agree on 1 800 Hansons because our windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life, and our baths have a no leak guarantee. Get 60% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1 800 Hansons. Get it done. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. How much was I paying a month for insulin? $185. $300. $400. I never expected anyone to do something about it. But then Tammy Baldwin did. She stood up to the drug companies and wrote a law capping the cost of insulin. Thanks to Tammy, now it just costs $35 a month. She made a huge difference for so many of us. She lifted a weight off all our shoulders. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. On a newly filed lawsuit, three black men are suing American Airlines. They allege company employees appear to remove all of them from a flight over a complaint about body odor. The men are now telling their story to CBS correspondent Chris Van Cleef. We don't only ones getting taken off the plane. Look at this. This video at the center of a newly filed lawsuit against American Airlines appears to show a number of black men after they've been removed from a flight allegedly due to a complaint about offensive body odor. So this is discrimination. The lawsuit claims as flight 832 from Phoenix to New York was finishing boarding in January, American employees removed eight black men from the plane. They were not traveling together, weren't seated next to each other, did not know each other, and appeared to be the only black men on the flight, according to the suit filed early this morning. As I got my things and walked to the front of the plane and made a left to the jet bridge, I noticed that there was seven other black men. And that kind of was like, okay, what's happening here? So For plaintiffs Emmanuel Jean Joseph, Alvin Jackson, and Xavier Veal, flight 832 was a connection. They'd taken an earlier flight from Los Angeles without issue. It was just black men, so I started freaking out. I pulled out my phone to record everything. At any point, did somebody from American say to any of you that you had an offensive odor? 
No. no. The lawsuit claims over the course of about an hour, the men were kept in the jetway and then moved to the gate area where they were told they'd be rebooked on another flight to New York later that day. And alleges an American employee indicated the complaint about offensive body odor had come from a white male flight attendant. A gate agent seen in the video at one point seems to agree race was a factor in the men getting pulled off the flight. Just because of the color of my skin. Okay. Okay. But when another flight to New York couldn't be found, they were put back on the same plane. Had to go back on the plane with everybody looking at us, you know, for me, very uncomfortable. Everybody staring at me. Me and all the other black people on the plane were just taken off. I knew that as soon as I get on that plane, a sea, a sea of white faces were, were going to be looking at me and blaming me for their late flight of an hour. Their lawyer, Sue Huta, says American declined to give her clients any answers about what happened in Phoenix. It's almost inconceivable to come up with an explanation for that other than the color of their skin, particularly since they didn't know each other, they weren't sitting near each other. It seems fairly apparent that race was part of this dynamic. The lawsuit cites other recent incidents where passengers have alleged being discriminated against by American and a 2017 NAACP travel advisory urging members not to fly the airline. It was lifted about eight months later. We were discriminated against. The entire situation was racist. Do you think if you were anything other than a black man, this would not have happened? If I was a white person, it probably wouldn't have happened. I think they would have walked past like the other white passengers that were there. CBS legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. The plaintiffs may really have no interest in money, and they may have a sincere interest in making a public statement about racial discrimination by a major airline. Is this kind of case a tough one to win at trial? The question at trial really is about what are the protocols of American Airlines? And they better have some, and they better have done something with these particular employees in terms of discipline after this action. American tells CBS News it takes all claims of discrimination very seriously and says in a statement, our teams are currently investigating the matter as the claims do not reflect our core values or our purpose of caring for people. The lawsuit seeks unspecified damages. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Phoenix. And still to come alive at four, the historic Wisconsin tornado season continues. We'll hear from a local expert on why this year has been so rough this early. Nobody wants to replace the roof, but these days, many roofs are only lasting 10 to 15 years, costing you tens of thousands of dollars. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. RoofMax treatments started early enough can extend the life of your roof by 15 years or more. And even if you think your roof is at the end of its life, 90% of the time, RoofMax can extend the life of your roof by five years at a fraction of the cost of a new roof. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. Imagine having a Medicare Advantage plan that can help cover costs for dental services or even groceries. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is offering special benefits called Essential Extras, available for Medicare Advantage plan members. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible to enroll today. Unsure if you're eligible? Our licensed insurance agents can help. Just call the number on your screen today. Medicare Advantage plans cover everything in original Medicare Parts A and B while offering coverage for additional benefits. With Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans, you could get no-cost essential extras you might not expect. These plans may include allowances for dental, vision, hearing, assistive devices, or even money for healthy groceries. That's not all, though. You could also get an allowance to help pay for utility costs like gas, electric, water, or sewer. It can even be used towards internet and cellular providers. Explore 2024 Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras in your zip code by calling today. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Essential extras could even include transportation to plan approved destinations but you won't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. You have to call to see if you're eligible to enroll. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is proud to offer these special no-cost Medicare Advantage plan benefits 
that help provide comfort and convenience to make everyday life easier. Don't miss out. Call Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield today to explore 2024 Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras. If you're new to Medicare, on Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Call 800-694-1143. 800-694-1143. That's 800-694-1143. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now live at 4, moving forward. Welcome back. Taking a look at the flowers out there as we're getting ready to slowly warm up. And we should be, right? Saturday is the start of the month of June, so... People are looking forward to that. I am really looking forward to it. We, they were talking like overnight lows in the 40s. I think we're, we're quite done with that. Well, Blaze is outside. Yeah, let's go to Blaze. He's on the patio, and he's uh, talking about that warm-up that's coming. <laughs> I, I'm ready for the 80s, Blaze. I am too, but I am not going to be... Uh, I think I'm going to be sad when this really nice air goes away and it's really muggy outside, but that is the re really quintessential feeling of summer. The 80s, it's a little muggy outside, but it just feels like summer. It doesn't quite feel like summer out there today. It kind of feels more like late spring, actually, as dew points are in the 40s and 50s. Radar showing nothing, but but there is a few clouds out there, kind of popcorned across southern Wisconsin here and there, maybe just providing a little bit of shade. A little bit more cloud cover off closer towards Waukesha right now, but otherwise a very beautiful end to your Wednesday. Upper 60s to low 70s in Dane County, 69 Madison, as well as in Belleville. Uh, we climbed up there in DeForest up into those low 70s. Everybody else, a wider view showing, again, very similar temperatures. A little bit cooler along the Lake Michigan shoreline, closer to that center of high pressure, but Look at those dew points. That's the reason why I encourage you to get outside this evening, whether it's eating, taking a walk. Dew points this dry, this late in the season, you just don't come by too often, and it makes for a very pleasant feeling outside. There's a look at your planner taking us to about 10 o'clock tonight when we'll be in those upper 50s. We're going to track out when the return of rain, because rain is in the forecast when it does return in. Uh, there is no alert day, so that is some good news as well on this Wednesday afternoon. All right, Blaze, thank you. This, of course, has been an historic year for severe weather in the state so far. And while we can't stop tornadoes from forming, we can get a better understanding of how they are formed thanks to technology. Our Catherine Merck caught up with one severe weather expert here in Madison. Some scientists study thunderstorms and tornadoes after they happen on the ground. This scientist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison studies them in a supercomputer. I will do what I can to bring those storms to life so that scientists can see the intricate details of what happens when tornadoes form, and once they form, how they behave, and then how they decay. Lee Orff is an expert on severe weather. He has taken advantage of computing to build 10 meter resolution models that can directly simulate tornadoes. As we continue to trend toward record numbers of tornadoes and thunderstorms, he wants his work to keep communities safe. The overarching goal of, of a lot of research like what I do is we understand the storm better so that we can predict it better so that we can issue warnings for tornadoes before they occur and not issue false alarm. Make sure to continue to check in with our first warm weather team for the latest updates. Reporting from UW-Madison's campus, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. Now to an update on the West Area Draft Plan in Madison. City staffers say they're encouraging developers to look at a wider mix of apartment unit sizes and missing middle housing types for smaller unit, smaller multifamily units and duplexes. At a meeting last night, staff focused on changes made to land use from the previous public comments and open house that was held last week. They tried to address residents' concerns about being more strict with developers. Sometimes if the city just says no to certain projects, um, it would not necessarily lead landowners and developers to reevaluate the project and propose something else that might just lead to nothing happening. Um, and with the housing crunch that we're in, um, that is uh, certainly something that needs to be accounted for. 
Now, meanwhile, the northeast area of the city, that includes the airport, Madison College, and East Town Mall, will be discussed at a meeting tonight from 5 to 8. It's at Rindall Park on Sycamore Avenue. Staff will go over recommendations made in the northeast area plan draft and talk about recommendations made at a virtual meeting from last night. You can find more information on the City of Madison website. The Biden administration is continuing its push towards clean energy with new grants for local schools. Today, the White House announcing the winners of the 2023 Clean School Bus Program competition. Recipients will receive a split of $900 million to invest in school buses that burn fuels other than diesel, with the vast majority of them being electric in some capacity. The project hopes to reduce the amount of greenhouse gas emissions caused by mass transit of students. The markets hit a bit of a slump. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, another rough day, tumbling more than 411 points. And NASDAQ fell 99, S&P 500 down 39. Startups in Wisconsin are getting a big boost from a new investment announced today. Governor Tony Evers, joined by the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, revealed the next step forward for entrepreneurs in the state. It's called the Wisconsin Investment Fund, and it consists of $100 million in private and public ventures. The investment fund was announced at Forward Biolabs, which has helped launch several successful startups. To date, we've served over 45 companies, about three quarters of which are in med tech or biohealth, and a quarter of which are in other industries, ag tech, clean tech, and related industries. These companies have amassed $360 million in investment and grants. Well, this fund is receiving money by matching private and public funds. For every public dollar put forward, a private fund will match it. Still to come at 445, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company will be here answering all those plant questions we keep getting. Yeah, so get them ready. Maybe you've got some storm damage to some of your plants or trees, or maybe just your favorite plant or shrub needs a bit of a boost. Email your questions to tips at channel3000.com to get those answers. Coming up next on Live at 4, a list of the most popular baby names is out, and there's a bit of a change this year. That's always interesting to see. We'll show you what names rose to the top and the unexpected additions when Live at 4 returns. Festa Italia, June 1st and 2nd in McKee Farms Park in Fitchburg. A celebration of all things Italian. Enjoy a pasta and meatball dinner, pizza, sausage, hot beef, cannoli, spinky, and more. Festa Italia, two days of live music, fun, and Italian food. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. Ride a chip. Don't worry, my cousin's got a guy. <laughs> yeah. Right now, get two-for-one windows and no interest for one year. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for feltco Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. It's held over up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals like this great looking reclining sofa with power just $7.27 or a great wicker sectional for spring just $8.99. How about a comfy recliner with lots of storage and so much more. But hurry it ends soon. Up to 60% off list at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. Festa Italia, June 1st and 2nd in McKee Farms Park in Fitchburg. A celebration of Italian food, culture, and fun. Live music, cultural exhibits, children's entertainers, and a pasta eating contest. Festa Italia, two days of live music, fun, and Italian food. 
New at 5, a home explosion rocks the neighborhood in the town of Springfield last night, killing two people. News 3 now has a team on the ground tracking down what happened. It was a wet start to the week. We don't really need any more rain here across southern Wisconsin. Coming up at 5, we're going to track out just how long the nice conditions stick around for. And ahead at 6, severe weather is on the rise in Wisconsin with 22 tornadoes this year alone. We go beyond the barometer to show you how UW-Madison experts predict these powerful storms. That's tonight at 6. Well, this is always interesting to see the list of the nation's top baby names was released by the Social Security Administration recently with Liam and Olivia taking the highest rankings in 2023. Parents today feel plenty of pressure when choosing a name. Bradley Blackburn explains why more are turning to professional name consultants for help. Peyton and Lindsay Gregory from Houston will soon welcome their second child, a baby girl, and they want her name to be just right. Naming your kid is the biggest uh, amount of pressure you can feel. They were struggling to make a choice, so they hired baby That's name consultant cool Jen Fakara after fun, seeing her videos tracking. on TikTok. Old lady names are growing, and I'm obsessed with it. And she I'm doles out advice right. and helps clients right. come up with a short names. list. I just think having someone who can really help narrow it for you and help guide you is appealing to a lot of people in the same way that people hire a matchmaker. For generations, American parents have dipped into the same well of family names over and over again. Dr. Worldwide, Cleveland Evans you know, has studied the psychology are, of names uh, and says today, most parents try to make a unique choice. And because of that, the percentage of uh, babies that get the popular names is way down from it was 30 or 40 years ago. Ironically, the people who do give their kids the names that are in the top 10 are unusual. Fakara says running ideas by friends or family can come with sharp judgment. There's so much choice out there and there's so many different opinions. It's one reason some pay a consultant fees ranging from $50 to a few hundred dollars. For the Gregory's, money well spent for a name to last a lifetime. We actually ended up sending Jen a list of, we wanted like a sports-related name. We're very big into sports. Have you picked the name? <laughs> we have. Um, her name will be Lainey. What's in a name? It's an answer that takes a lot of thought. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. That's fascinating. Name consultant? You think that's a good gig these days? <laughs> it probably pays yeah, more than I am getting. If you can get it, right? The fastest growing baby name last year was Kaylee. Now that's spelled K-A-E-L-I. They always have these creative, weird new spellings of things. That jumped up the list by almost 1,700 spots. I apologize to all those baby Kayleys out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, coming up here after the break, we are going to answer your plant questions. Lisa Briggs joins us from the Bruce Company. Well, it's still time to submit them. Just send an email to tips at channel3000.com. Shop the Row Furniture Factory Authorized Sale and save up to half off at Dwellings. Sofas, chairs, sectionals, and ottomans. You choose the style and the fabric, all up to 50% off. Dwellings Interior Design and Home Furnishings. Still Madison's best kept $150 secret. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, 
I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face. You use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look at your genre, this is it. This Memorial Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. You think Atlanta's point guard is good for 20 tonight? No question. You hear he got name dropped on that new song. With that much hype, I'd lock in. Pick more, pick less. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. It's Empire Today's biggest sale. The 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300. Empire Today. Shop the Row Furniture Factory Authorized Sale and save up to half off at Dwellings. Sofas, chairs, sectionals, and ottomans. You choose the style and the fabric, all up to 50% off. Dwellings Interior Design and Home Furnishings. Still Madison's best kept $150 secret. Well, we've been focusing a lot on the effects of weather recently with all the damage, all the piles of trees and shrubs that have been piling up along city streets. Well, whether it is your trees torn up from the roots and flowers trampled by the rain, our plants have really had it roughly, as you have mentioned. It has been tough, and that's why we're talking to our plant expert today, Lisa Briggs, joining us from the Bruce Company, set to answer our questions. Lisa, how are you today? I'm good. How are you guys? Pretty good. Now, you know, the storm damage stuff, I can't imagine what the Bruce Company looked like. You guys have so many trees. How do you protect those trees? Or I guess it's cleanup time for you guys, too, after that. Luckily, everything's in pots, so they just blew over. But we did have some damage to our greenhouse. Yeah, that was that was quite a stretch. What advice do you have for some folks if they have, you know, damage to trees? I mean, do you just uh, trim it off? And or what, how do you make sure your tree is, is healthy or your shrubs have, have weathered the storm? Well, in the first place, if you're going to do any pruning, you're going to want to make really good clean cuts just above a bud, or if it's a tree with a major branch, you're going to want to do a flush cut kind of close to the trunk. And then what you're going to want to do is just keep them as vigorous as possible through the growing season. So water them if they, if we get droughty and just do what you can to keep them healthy. Yeah, they were put through the ringer last week. Let's go to the phones and I guess not the no, phones. No, emails. To the emails. We got one from we don't Judy. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Judy is, uh, has an email for us. She, she has a clematis that has some beautiful blooms, but other stems are wilting and the leaves are wilting and they look to be dying. She wants to know what's wrong and what can she do? There is a disease called uh, clematis wilt, and I'm wondering if that might be it. She could send us some photos to the plant desk. That's plantdesk at brucecompany.com. Otherwise, she should check to see if maybe it was damaged by the storm or an animal maybe bent a branch or something like that. All right, our next question here. TC asks, we mail ordered a blue hydrangea plant that was advertised as suitable for in-house use. It is about 25 inches or 30 inches tall and it is relatively pretty, but all eight blooms are light pinkish lavender. What can we do to turn them blue as they were advertised? So hydrangeas will be pink or blue depending on the acidity of the soil. So if she wants to turn it blue and it's in a container, as an indoor plant would be, she should get some muracid, so that's a miracle Grow water-soluble fertilizer. She can mix it in a spritz bottle and just spritz it directly on the plant, and that might get it to be a little bit bluer. All right. Now, Sandy has a question about a rhubarb plant. She, she moved it to the east side of the garage two years ago. There's also a pine tree near there. For some reason, they don't get red anymore. Could it be the soil? Not enough sun? What do you think it is? I'm wondering if it might be that it's a little bit shadier than it's used to. Rhubarbs do need full sun, and if she's got a big pine tree and it's on the east side, it might just be that it's not getting enough sun to color up. And one last question here that we got so far from Amy is, what is a good ground cover to plant under evergreen trees? So it's going to be dry under there and maybe a little bit acidic. So if you're looking for perennial ones, I would look at hostas, of course. Those are really easy. I would also look at epimedium or bishop's hat. And then they, sh they could also look at sweet woodruff, which is also called gallium. All of those are plants that will thrive in a shady but dry space.
Always got to have something that can deal with that shade. Lisa, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You're Some welcome, great guys. Tips for weathering the storm. Let's go to weather now and get a track of what's happening out there. We're finally starting to look like a nice spring day out there today. Let's and it feels like it outside as well. Later this evening, I really encourage folks get out, take an evening walk, maybe push off dinner just a little bit. Eat outside if you want to enjoy the low dew points, the really comfortable temperatures. In fact, we're headed into the 40s tonight. Thursday, sunny and comfortable once again. Rain is set to return as we head further into your Friday night and even into your Saturday as well. Quiet on the satellite and radar, at least the radar part. Satellite, maybe a little bit of cloud cover. Interestingly enough, our friends across northern Wisconsin, they're in for a frost advisory this evening. Mark the date we are nearing the end of May and they are possibly dealing with frost. That just shows how strong this high pressure system is that's sitting overhead and has brought our dew points down into those mid to upper 40s to low 50s, making it very comfortable outside. Another sign of a high pressure system. We call it our fair weather friend for this reason as well. We've got the open sky conditions and these light winds. We typically see that with high pressure systems and this high pressure system is going to sit over us as we head not only into this evening, but into most of your Thursday and Friday as well. Temperatures across southern Wisconsin, low 60s around Waukesha, 60 in Milwaukee. But then once you get further into central and western parts of Wisconsin, upper 60s to low 70s, 73 in Lone Rock, 71 in Prairie du Chien, closer into Dane County, 70 for those of us, Verona or uh, Middleton, Cross Plains, Wanakee as well. And the relative humidity, this is the reason why it just feels so nice outside. It's dry upper 30s to low 40s for the relative humidity. There really is not any moisture in the air and that's going to make for a comfortable evening. Throw open the windows as we head overnight into your Thursday. Again, 40s for overnight lows, light winds, get in some fresh air. This high pressure system continues to act like a big bubble, keeping that cloud cover and even that rain off to our west as we head throughout your Thursday. Waking up Thursday morning will be quiet by Thursday evening, a little bit more cloud cover. But again, we continue to hold off on that rain. You're not really seeing a lot of green overhead. Even as we head into Friday morning, the best chance is going to be overnight Friday into your Saturday. Warm temperatures look to stick around as we kick off June, and it looks like we're trending maybe slightly more dry as we kick off the first few days of June as well, which is going to be some great news. I know some of the fields are kind of full of water over the last few days, especially, so we do need some dry time, and it looks like that may be coming in as we head further into the new month of June. Overnight 40s, again, folks up north way across northern Wisconsin dealing with the possibility of frost this evening for Thursday 70s and plenty of sunshine. Let's take it full screen so folks can see this beautiful seven day forecast and the alert free 10 day forecast as well. We're back into the 80s by Sunday. We'll be right back after the break. I suffered with knee pain for almost four to five years. I wanted to have the conformis after looking at all the different options. I think having the surgery with the ortho team is the only way to go. They all look out for you as a patient. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For Imprint certain? Certainty matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint for certain. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Hey, happy spouse, happy house. For windows, roofing, siding, and more, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSONS. Get 60% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Our city has a pulse. Steps from bustling and wild. Come find familiar. Experience new. Live in our rhythm and stay. Join Dr. Ashish M. Ravel on June 6th at 5.30 p.m. to learn how the Conformis Custom Knee Implant may be the solution to end your pain. To register for the free online talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. 
New at 5, a quiet neighborhood in Springfield was rocked last night after a home explosion killing two people. News for Now has team coverage on the ground tracking down what happened. We'll tell you everything we know that's coming up next. Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, uncovering the stories and getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, weeknights. Well, the music is playing. That means it's time to take a look at this. A surfboard stealing social media sensation made a heralded return to the place where it made an infamous name for itself. The mischievous mammal named Otter 841 went viral in the summer of 23 when it was caught on camera snacking and snatching on surfboards, sticking it to the man and gaining a cult following in the process. 841 was tagged by officials but has been missing in action for months before showing up in the waters off Santa Cruz, delighting locals and visitors of all ages. And the best part about this is it was all just in time for World Otter Day. Otter 841 timing it well. It's the responsibility, of course, of any library goer to make sure borrowed books make their way back intact so everyone can enjoy a good read. But sometimes disaster strikes and often it is a naughty pet who is to blame. The Middleton Library, oh, that's a yellow lab. You know that, per, that one's to blame. The Middleton Library offering a get out of jail free card of sorts in exchange for a pick of the pet perp who done it. The library then posts the pick along with the blighted book as sort of a good humored public shaming of that poor pet. They have the mutt mug shots to prove it. That initiative was inspired by another library in Massachusetts that recently offered similar fine forgiveness for picks of pet cats. We'll be right back.